Hello and welcome back to Humanizer, which is a free and open source 3D character creator plugin for Godot 4.2. It's based on the Make Human Python project and the MPF V2 plugin for Blender, which are also free and open source. I'll put a link to the GitHub repository in the description. And if you want to donate so that we can continue adding more features, I'll put a link to the Ember Light Game Studios Patreon in the description as well. As you can see, we're working on stress testing. So we're adding a bunch of randomly generated humans to the scene to see how many can be added at once. Currently, I have 66 humans and it's still almost at 60 FPS. And I am recording as well, so this would probably be higher on most computers, but they are fully animated and rigged, as you can see. They have the run animation set up by default, and all of the textures and 3D models are baked into one or two surfaces for the opacity. So this should be plenty for a small town or a bandit encounter. And of course you'll have to have terrain and the character AI loaded as well. So we do not have the skin hidden, but there are separate functions that will hide the skin under the clothes and the overlapping clothes parts as well. So it'll just make it take a little bit longer to generate each human. As you can see down here, there's the time per human. So it takes about 30 to 40 seconds on my computer per human. And on Matt's, I think it was around 11. So you'll have to see. And we are working on optimizing that. So we'll use this humanizer stress test scene to work on that. So you can access this test scene through the file system under add-ons, humanizer, scenes, tests, humanizer, stress test. And then, so this just has a floor and a camera. Then if you run the local scene, you will see that it starts to generate humans. So as I said, this takes about 30 to 40 seconds. There are some camera controls. So the WASD and mouse to move the camera around. And then once the humans start spawning, you can use the arrow keys to move them around. So now we have a couple humans on the screen and you can move them around with the arrow keys. And you can see down in the log that it prints for each step. So now another human has been added. And so this will keep generating humans as long as you leave the scene open. And you can press the space bar to turn off the generator once you have as many as you want. So, and you can press the space bar again to turn it back on. So you'll see the message in the log. And it will finish the one that it's currently on though. And for quick reference, if this is the first time that you're learning about Humanizer, you'll need to clone the repository from GitHub because if you just download the zip, the mesh resources will be corrupted. So I'll put a link to the GitHub in the description and you'll want to clone that onto your computer and then you'll copy the add-ons folder into your project and then you'll be able to add the humanizer node from anywhere in the project and this will create the configurable human so you'll be able to set the gender and all of the macros and shape keys and equip the clothing. And as you can see, 
there's the skin clipping problem, so you'll want to call the remove occluded vertices function, which will delete the vertices of the human mesh under the clothes. And Matt has some videos about setting up the plugin and using the stress test on the Emberlight Game Studios channel. So I'll put a link to that in the description as well. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching and have a great day.